Hey YouTube, so I see a lot of people say Marina is bad, and I'm going to prove that wrong today in this video. The reason she's so good is because of her passive, her alt, and her outro skill. Her, for her forte circuit, Starflower Blooms, using a heavy attack, if Marina carries, carries photosynthesis energy, Marina consumes one stack of photosynthesis energy to recover concerto energy and restore HP for all party members nearby. Heavy Attack Star Blossom deals spectral damage, dealing heavy attack damage. Marina obtains one stack of this energy for every resin skill botany experiment on hit, meaning for every enemy that gets hit by a resin skill, she'll obtain one stack of this energy. For example, if she hits two enemies, she gets two. Now her passive, Gift of Nature. When Verena casts Heavy Attack Star Flower Blooms, Midair attacks, star flower blooms, or resonance liberation, arboreal flourish, or outro skill blossom. Attack for all pi members are increased by 20% for 20 seconds, which is insane. So if you combo this up with her outro skill, Rainer recovers HP to the next character. All characters on the team will get a 15% attack boost for 30 seconds. Other passive skill, Grace of Life. Varina protects a party member from fatal damage and grants a shield with strength equal to 120% of Varina's attack. Lasts for 10 seconds. This can be triggered once every 10, 10 minutes. So, if you were to get killed by a boss, Varina can prevent that and grant you a shield. Now for the resonance chain. Varina sequence 1. Moment of Emergence Outro Skill Blossom grants the next character a continuous healing effect, recovering HP to 20% of Verena's attack for every 5 sec breath. Every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. Her second one, Sprouting Reflections. Resonance Skill Botany Experiment additionally grants 1 Photosynthesis Energy and 10 Concerto Energy. Her third one, the choice of choice to flourish. Healing of Resonance Liberation Photosynthesis Mark is increased by 12%. Whenever a team member near nearby performs an attack on targets with a photosynthesis mark, Verena performs a coordinated attack, dealing spectral damage, while restoring HP to the party members dealing damage, triggering once per second. Which will be really good for Dan Jin, because she sacrifices her HP to do damage. Her fourth sequence, Blossoming, blossoming embra Embrace. Heavy attack star flower blooms, mid-air attack star flower blooms, a resonance liberation, a boreal flourish, and ultra scale blossom increases increases the spectral damage bonus of all team members by 15% for 24 seconds. Which can be used with Rover because him oh, Farina are the only spectral characters so far. But once we get another one, we can make a full spectral team spectro team. For fifth sequence, Miraculous Blooms. When Verena heals a team member with HP less than 50%, her healing is increased by 20%. Her sixth sequence, Joyous Harvest. Heavy, star, star, heavy attack, Starflower Blooms, and Mid-Air attack, Starflower Blooms, do 20% more damage. They will trigger coordinated attack one time and heal all characters nearby. The damage of this coordinated attack and the healing are equal to those of Liberation Photosynthesis Mark. Now for her Echo Set. This is pretty simple. You either rock her with the Moonlit Clouds set or the Rejuvenating Glow set. Both are good, but personally for me, I would use Rejuvenating Glow. The two-piece set gives a 10% healing bonus, which is really good for heals and off-field healing. In, her fi in the five-piece set, performing the outro skill, which increased, her, increased the next character attack, by the way, the attack of all the entire team resonators will be increased by 15% for 30 seconds. So that's a huge, huge attack buff. And then Moonlit Clouds, you can get energy regen. We can keep using her all over and over again. And then when you switch, the next resonator that takes the field, we're getting a 22 22.5% attack buff for 15 seconds. Also, with rejuvenating glow, you can use this and then combo that up with Mortifay's alt. And she acts so you would do Verena and then you do Verena's outro skill, 
and then you will switch to Mortify, pop his alt, and then Mortify will have Moonlit Cloud, which increases energy regen, so it can, gain, it can get us all off multiple times. Use his outro skill to increase the next, resona re next Resonator's attack by 22.5%, then you will switch to Shiax and just do crazy damage. Pretty much with any character, so it'll be Verena, then Mortify, and then any DPS or sub DPS character. Like Kakarot, for example. Or Yenlin. Time to test Verena's kit. Never mentioned that she is a really good reversal move for the heavy attack. So, first, I proper skill to gain both of its energy, and then I do five basic attacks. To get that as well. I'll switch from Verena to Santa to get an attack buff from Verena's outro skill and her and her echo skill set. Now I'll switch from Verena to Danjin to increase Danjin's attack and also gain her heals. And now I'm using a lot of Danjin's resonance skill and her passive and her resonance chain one. To do a bunch of damage. I use Arena's alt to then switch with the engine to get a bunch of attack from her outer skill and her echo skill. But her all when the active character takes the field, but we only do according attack damage. For each hit the active character deals, you can also it was an active character over time. Notice how many are low health, so I'm gonna switch to Verena to get her health back on. Back at the engine, and then destroy Scar. And this is the power of her. Don't sleep on her. She's busted. Now for teams for for Verena. She's an excellent support, so you can pretty much run her with anybody. So for me, I go with. As you can see, for my Sanha team, I'm marking Sanha Tauchi. And Verena. Sanha is my main DPS. And Tauchi is my sub DPS, utilizing her outro skill that increases resonance skill damage by 38%. And then Verena with uh, her outro and her passives. And I can also switch Tauchi out for Mortify for his outro skill and his alt, which deals coordinated attack damage when you use normal charge attacks. Another team, Shiax team, I use Shiax as a main DPS, then Tao Chi as support because of her outro skill, and then Verena for a passive and outro skill. Same thing with Danjin team. Danjin as the main DPS, Verena as the support, and Tao Chi as the sub DPS. <laughs> now you understand how strong Verena is. So when you get the free 5 star selector, make sure to get her. Get her. Or you can summon for Jian and who's the other one? Yinlin. If you lose a 50 50 and you don't get her, get her from the selector banner because she's really good. If you made it this far, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Weathering Waves videos. Goodbye.